Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody guys. Uh, so right now actually it's uh, no difference what currency to watch for uh, among our setups that we have discussed previously within the week because all markets across the board just waiting for an informed proposal is not really big activity right now. So in the first video we have taken a look at the British pound and recent collapsed and has followed after the Bank of England uh, voting on a rate change. And in the second video today Right now we will keep an eye on the euro currency setup that we have and on the New Zealand dollar briefly. So on the euro currency, guys, mostly market has completed the first step of our trading plan that we have discussed in the last weekend. So we said that the first action will be up, but this action should be small uh, because mostly this will be a response to daily oversold and confidence support. But at the same time, to keep overall bearish situation, bearishness, on the market and keep your stop clear market should not return back above the neckline and that indeed has happened so you can see market is calling below, below the neckline uh, that's why uh, at the eve of the non-farm non-farm pros release our stop is still valid here we're still watching for our next leg down destination point will be somewhere around 114.50 area so this will be a b equals cd patient should be completed Taking into consideration the speed of the CD leg that's rather fast, this collapse was uh, last week, so the chance that this will happen actually not small. Um, and also, as we said previously, this fundamental background exists. The difference between the policy and the Fed Reserve and the European Central Bank are, is really obvious. So that's why it will press on the market uh, within the probably coming year. So. Um, Yesterday we said that probably market could show a bit high action stands for some time long inside of this consolidation. Indeed, this has happened. So Powell and Poitman has put a reaction on this event, but as we have expected, this reaction was not really significant, just 25, 30 pips. Market has jumped up. Right now, market is calling around this previous loss, as you can see, and around the neckline of the hand shoulder special. So that being said, on the hourly chart, guys, what we have, our ABCD patch mostly has been completed with this spike up. As we said, that's probably this will be uh, not 1675, but maybe 1690 area. And indeed, this spike up uh, put prices slightly above the neckline, but this was very short term after that market was returned a big down. What to expect in the near, nearest hours? So. Um, actually, on the volatility before non-farm proposal is, I will not expect, exclude that maybe market will try to estimate another high here. Why? Because take a look that here market hasn't quite reached the target of the ABCD for a few pips. It's probably five, six pips till the final point. That's why maybe minor butterfly here could be formed uh, on the volatility before numbers will be released or something of that sort. This could happen. I'm not sure that this definitely will happen, that this could happen. This is just a question, guys, with the small uh, five, six pips, maybe. But it's, of course, if uh, numbers will be good. If my numbers will be bad, it's, of course, could lead to the, some strong action on your currency. But overall action, guys, if you we'll take a look at the price behavior of this consolidation, is definitely the retracement. It's not thrusting action, very choppy. Uh, price behavior, a lot of overlapping candles, long shadows, so it's typical for the retracement. That's why uh, technical picture was so that we should get trapped here uh, today to the downside. Uh, maybe this will happen on some surprise because I am not ex exclude the surprise, positive surprise in non-farm data because, as I said already, that could be some uh, reestablishing. Uh, of activity in the southern states uh, that were harmed by the hurricanes in the last month. And that could bring significant surplus to the total non-farm pearls numbers. And well, um, and, 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 and the consequence of the hurricanes is very often to calculate correctly 
and uh, that, th this is some um, source of surprise here we have uh, that's why maybe it's indeed will be the major driving factor so that we have on the euro cans. now on the New Zealand dollar on the New Zealand dollar guys as you remember we are watching for minor retracement up and here those of you who have the bearish view could take the short position uh, recall that we discussed yesterday it's approximately should be around 69.70 69.65 area and market gradually is moving and moving higher so probably today it's also this point could be achieved because on the hourly chart on the New Zealand dollar we have the minor butterflies forming and this butterfly particularly has destination point somewhere around 69.70 so on the volatility uh, non-farm pros volatility is also could be some uh, ner ner nervousness around and maybe market will reach this area but after that we expect the drop mostly because we have on the daily chart as we have discussed yesterday and completed ABCD 1618 target right below the market so these setups we have right now let's keep watching what will happen and stop on the euro currency will be also very important for our long-term analysis because if you remember we have a uh, long-term uh, forecast long-term expectation for the euro and it suggests right now dropping here but after that it suggests significant retracement up so from that standpoint it's very important to see what really will happen here whether the market will confirm this by the downward action or not this will be our primary object to watch for today